Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm going to continue my Zodiac series where I make a custom nine pan palette using my single shadows. And uh, basically basing it on nowletsgetgoing.com's color palettes for the different Zodiac signs. And today I'm filming this the same day that I'm posting this, so I'm sorry if it's up a little bit late. Usually I post it at 6 o'clock, but I kind of forgot that it was Thursday today and thought it was Wednesday, so... <laughs> anyway, today it is the 21st of May and it's of course beginning of Gemini season. And I will just go ahead and read out what nowletsgetgoing.com says about Gemini. Gentle, affectionate, but sometimes indecisive Gemini. Naturally creative, you need a color that symbolizes creation and what better color than green. Green comes in so many different shades that even the most fickle Gemini can pin down their favorite piece in no time. White and pink are some other colors to fold into the mix when you're feeling the need to express yourself. However, if you need some time off from the whirlwind that is the creative process, Gemini, don't be afraid to reach for black. It will help you make some tough decisions and keep anxiety at bay. So even if you feel that black doesn't represent you as a creative, remember trendy Gemini, black is always the new black. All that good creative energy can turn restless in red and colors in that family, caring twins. So avoid those colors for peace of mind. There's a couple of spelling mistakes here, so it was a bit hard to read. <laughs> um, uh, and then Gemini color palette is light green, white and rose. The Gemini color palette no-nos are red and orange. So I did do some extra research on the Gemini colors because I felt like it wasn't that much to go on. <laughs> but I ended up with a palette looking like this. And after Googling a bit, I did see that yellow is like one of the main colors for Gemini. So I did add a couple of yellowy shades here. So we do have a light green right here. We have some white, but with a light green shift. We have some rosy pinks that were uh, explained to be nice colors for Gemini and also of course I had to have some deepening shades for both the rosy tones but also the green and of course some shimmers that match so we have this beautiful rosy gold pigment from Tami Tanuka here a gorgeous shimmery shade from Prettiest for Your Face right here and then a yellow that shifts to sort of like a rosy pink right here which is more of a subtle shimmer and of course we have this inner corner highlight which is a stunning, stunning pigment from Tami Tanuka and a bright yellow here so we can have some variation with our looks. So I am just going to start out swatching this and I'm going to go from left to right, top to bottom as usual. And remember that some of these are pigments so they might not swatch as good. <laughs> So here you have all of the swatches in my normal lighting setup, but I will of course also show you in some different lightings so that you can see all of the different shifts and the sparkles in the shadows. I love that part. <laughs> so now I just turned down the lighting a lot and I'm just shining on the swatches with my phone lighting so you can see how gorgeous, like look at these pigments. <laughs> I'm like in shock of how gorgeous all of these are. 
The only one that is a bit subtle is this last one, but it's still so nice because it has that pink to yellow shift in it. But I just love this color story more and more the more I look at it. Just, oh my god. <laughs> so I do also hope that you like this color story. Please sound off below uh, if this was something that you like. So those are the swatches of my Gemini palette and I did forget to mention I think because I'm a little bit stressed <laughs> but I am posting this look and uh, this uh, zodiac series on my Instagram as a collab with Linda from Knowledge and Beauty 7 on Instagram so I will of course leave a link for her Instagram and her post with our collab down in the description box and if you want to see how her look turned out you have to check that out but I will also of course leave a picture of that in the end of this video. But now let's get going to this tutorial where I do the look that I have on my eyes right here and I did end up using all of the shades so please keep on watching if you want to see that. So my plan for today's look is as usual to try to use all of the different shades so you can see how they apply. And what I'm thinking right now is that I will be using the deeper green in my outer crease, blend it out with the lighter green, use the darker purple in the inner crease, and the lighter mauve shade as my transition shade. And then I will use the dark green shimmer for my outer lid, the rose gold shimmer for my inner lid, then I'm not quite sure what I'll do for the lower lash line. I just know I will at least use these two and this one in the inner corner. So we will just see if I will use maybe the green with the yellow or the purple with the yellow. But I'm just going to start out with my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush and use this green shade. For my eyeshadow base today, I'm wearing my NARS Smudge Proof Eye Primer in the shade Light. And somehow I got some glitter on my brush right now, so I'm like getting glitter all over my face somehow. And I feel like the the eyeshadow base is a little bit too dark for me, because you can like see that it's darker than my actual skin tone. I think it will look okay once I get my, like the rest of my face makeup on, but I wish they had a more white option. <laughs> Now I'll be going in with Unity right here. As usual, I'm more using like stamping motions and packing the shade on and then slightly blending the edges. Now I will be going in with Sedge and then Meraki. And as usual, I always try to tap it on the edge right where I blended the darkest shade because that makes me feel like I get a nicer transition. I'm just taking a touch more of that deeper mm. green just to help with the blending a little bit. And now I just cleaned my brush with my color switch and I'm going in to Meraki and again just tapping above the edge and slightly blending the edges and since pink and green do not like naturally go the best together when you blend them I'm just trying to like tap slightly instead of like blending the shades together I'm more trying to like overlap them very carefully And now I'm just going to have to work a little bit on the blending because these have a little bit of a different undertone, the two greens. So I really want to try to blend them so that they look a little bit better together. And that is like always a challenge when you're working with um, just nine shades when I put together a color story because this green will go great with the yellow and it can work with this one, but this one is way more blue toned so the blending won't be like perfect, but since they're both greens, they will still look good together if you blend them nicely. I just feel like there's some patchiness right here that I can't seem to get rid of, but I'll just work a bit more on it and then we will see if it comes together in the end. Now I am taking my BH Cosmetics Base Booster and I'll just be applying that all over my lid where I want the two shimmers to stick. And I'm basically just cutting my crease so 
As usual, I make sure that it's above the fold that I get once I have my eyes open like this and relax my eye. So since Infanta here is a pigment, I will be going in with that first and then I will be going in with the brocade just because this is a pressed shimmer so it has binder in it and it will blend a bit e more easily whereas this is a pigment and I need to have something to, that it sticks to which is why I of course have the glitter glue as a base. So I'm just taking a small brush right here making sure I have <laughs> my eyes stretch or lids stre stre stretched and then I'm starting to pack on that pigment. And this is one of the pigments that have almost like a flaky size because the mica has such large particles but I still want it to be quite opaque. Since this is the lighter shade I would like to kind of have it go a little bit further right here just to like highlight the top of the crease or the cut crease and then I will be using that green a bit more like this. Now I just changed my flat brush and I'm picking up this one which is super sparkly and pigmented. I'm so excited to use it. Now that I have it placed where I want it to, I'm just trying to like tap it into the pigment so that we don't have like the sharpest line. <laughs> I might just end up going with the lightest pigment here as a cut crease liner right here because I think that would be so gorgeous. You know what, I'm actually going to do that because I think that would be so pretty. So I'm just going to apply some glitter glue right there and then I'm going to tap on that uh, illusion of light shade. just wanted a bit more control over the pigment placement so I just ended up mixing the pigment on my hand like this with some glitter glue and that way I can just use this brush and pick up the mixture which sort of just works like a gel liner or something. So now that that is done I'm just going to do my face makeup, my other eye and then I'll come back to show you how I do my lower lash line. Now I'm done with my face makeup except highlighter so I will just be going in with this dark green and I will just pack it on right here to connect the lower lash line with the upper lid and I will be using that yellow to blend it out and the yellow shimmer. For that shimmery shade I am going in with a little bit of glitter glue again and I will just be applying that on the lower lash line and I want to have it around the middle right here which is why I didn't blend the green and the yellow too much and pack on the yellow here because I wanted that shimmer. I just want the yellow underneath here to be like a blend of that shimmery shade. And now I'm going in with this one. It's the same brush that I used with this shade. And I'll just be packing this on to the lower lash line. So I think this is how I want it to be. So I'll just repeat that on the other side. Apply some mascara, highlight, lipstick, something in the waterline and I will tight line my eyes show you a close-up and then I will talk a bit about the look and this palette. So that is how my finished look turned out using my custom Gemini palette and I really really like how this whole look came out and I think that this palette is 
Like I was a bit worried in the beginning that I would find it a bit boring to work with, but I do feel like there's a lot you can do with this palette because you can combine like I did all of the shades or you can like mix it up and basically do exactly what I did just with opposite colors. Like you can use the pink and the purple here and the uh, yellow in the inner corner. You can use the green on the lower lash line. You can just stay with the greens or you can use the deeper green brown with the yellow. You can use yellow and purple. There's a lot of things you can do with this palette even though it's a little less colorful maybe than I'm used to with my custom palettes. But I do feel like this is a very nice, a little bit more muted color story than the previous one that I did with the Taurus. And I think those two would also work really great together. So all in all, after doing this look, I'm really happy with how this color story turned out because I love how this look ended up looking like. And I hope you did too. Uh, make sure that you check out Linda's post as well because we are posting both of us on Instagram. I will leave her look up here so you can see how her look turned out. She also made a beautiful cut crease and I will of course leave a link to her Instagram and her post down in the description box. But I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!